Hi, John here uh, today. It's the 25th of uh, September 2017 on Monday. Um, I've just been working on the uh, court hearing for Friday, uh, this Friday the 29th at 12 o'clock. And uh, I'll be going there at 9 o'clock, around about 9 o'clock for those who are coming. You've got uh, till midday to settle into the marae, and you'll find parking around the back uh, streets, if any, but the best is to find a park right out of the area and jump on the bus. Just work out where to leave your car, because you don't have to worry about parking. Some of the places in Epsom are uh, designated for uh, local people, so uh, if you park your car right away, somewhere uh, off Andrews Road or somewhere in uh, Gillies Ave, off the back there, then uh, you can catch a bus down uh, to uh, to the Marae, uh, which is on the corner of Clyde Road, uh, Clyde Street, or Clyde Road, Clyde Street, um, number one, and Manukau Road. That's from the Great South Road end of the intersection with Broadway, Manukau Road starts there and runs up uh, towards the airport. So it's only uh, the second lights along on the left hand side, uh, the building, you wouldn't see it as looking like a marae, but it is the marae, the Catholic Church. Um, and so uh, that's where we'll be holding the meeting. So I'm just... Uh, I wanted to call Bundy Whitehide just to let him know that I'm getting the documents done today. It's a big job to put all that together. I'll see if I can strike him. Lucky. Oh, shit. The computer's disappeared. Yeah, Bundy, um, I'm just putting all the documents together for the court today. Yeah. Um, and I'll make the file up, but I'll email them to you. And yes. then I'm going to put all the rest of the X just on the King William IV and the references to King William III and King, King George IV in with the court papers yeah. on just the running of the court hearing. So it'll have the agenda today in your email. Oh, I sent it to uh, Patricia's email and yep. uh, to uh, Manahi as well. So I'm, I'm pretty fit now, I'm not sick anymore. Uh, and, and so I'll, I'll stick that all together today and tomorrow and bound it up, bound it up ready to send to you. It might be better if I took it to the hearing. I, it would have been good for you to look through it first. And if, yep. I, if I can, I can post it to you. I think I've got your postal address somewhere. What's, yep. what's it again? 17. 17? Yeah, North Road. More. How do you spell that? N-O-R-T-H. North. Uh, North Road. 70 North yeah. Road, Kaitaia. Yeah. Kaitaia. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the post that should get to you by Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, it'll be a, just a brief uh, bound up thing, but that's the main court document so you can run through it and uh, I'll just get uh, uh, when he, uh, familiar with his role as, uh, as uh, his, his really, I've been looking through, his role is really the uh, uh, Lord, Lord Chief Justice, eh? yeah. the native Lord Chief Justice, he goes over the top of Sean Elias Chief Justice because that's 
straight to Scotland because they do all they all the legal stuff for Edinburgh uh, for 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 uh, Westminster is done there. You see, so yeah. so, so that's the title of that Edinburgh Magistrate Court where the documents are, where the, the, the title land titles are, is in that court before it went to Westminster. So, yeah. so that ties up his part as the British uh, migrant that's settled, and and, and that part he's, he's got the main role really as a judge. So okay. got to make sure he 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 says to you, or says to Manahi, or says to me, or says to to the 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 criminal uh, ones, what's going to happen to them, right? And that's that. He doesn't have to say much, but that's his role, as as being here, to there, to Britain, Stra okay. straight to those magistrate courts, straight to the both magistrate courts, and that's how it's done. But I'll okay. I'll do that today. That's why I haven't got in touch with you because I've been quite busy uh, putting all the things together, and I'm make I'm making short clips, to each of those ones who I've ma made notice to. The notices have gone off. They're online, so that it's public now. That's the seven days uh, till till Friday, twelve o'clock. That's when it ends. <coughs> the notices end, then we just strike up their names. That should take about half an hour, as long as we go through the names, and then we've got to go down. Um, no, I still got a bloody trespass. I'm going down, down uh, anywhere down bottom town. But the thing is, I've got Dion, Dion uh, Walker. He can drop you and, and Manahi and uh, 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 Hiliwini off to the police station to, with the notice to drop there and then to the, uh, uh, to the uh, Auckland District Court and then to the, the uh, High Court and then we're going to end up, we'll end up in the um, uh, lawyer's office, Choi, you type Choi where he's got all the documents there on, on Friday. How's that sound, all right? Sounds busy. Yeah, it sounds busy, but that's that's what I'm, I'm thinking. Well, we can talk about it on the day, because yeah. that way they get it delivered straight to the... It's the main one is the Auckland District Court, uh, really. Yeah. Uh, all, as, long as, uh, as long as... I think I'll go as well, I guess. I'll, I'll go as well so that I keep things on, on track. Uh, but we just need to be there in person to hand it to the registrar himself, come to the desk and pick, pick one of those forms, it's 11 all together, and we sign and stamp each of them. I'm getting my stamp today for the Maui, Maui stamp to go on the back of it, on the, on the, on the, beside the other one. Yeah. And uh, so that'll make it official. It's better to just hand it straight. When they see you there, it, it makes sense to to see you handing it over to them, to, to the registrar of the court, because I'm at the registrar, to, to that registrar, and then he's got it. And then the, the, the lawyer will, will do the seizing the Cook Street. Once he does it, he'll get all the work to do all the other seizing the properties, right? Yeah. From that system and to ours. From, it'll go from that one into ours, and then you've got the free reign after that. We've just got to make sure we got that in order, and, and it'll work. I, I, I can see I spent a bit of time yesterday uh, figuring it out, and I'm writing it all up so that uh, the park here can understand it. Yeah. All right. That's so, um, mm -hmm. so we will come down. What will be the best time for us to come? Uh, I'll, I'll be there at nine. I'm, I'm ringing the Marae today to make sure. And if they, if no one answers the phone, I'm just going to get on the bus and go up there and check to make sure. That's that's that Ungawaka, that's yeah. in uh, Simon Street. Eh? No, no, no. That, no, it's it's on Manukau Road. Your Broadway. You go. You get off the motorway and go through Broadway, and you'll come out at. Um, um, you know the Great South Road corner of Broadway, where the Great, Great South Road, where the inter intersection is. Oh, oh, it's on the way to the airport from Broadway, Newmarket. Broadway. Newmarket. Okay. Uh, Newmarket. Do we take the, the which which is the best uh, car 
Gil Gilly's Ave. Get off at the Gilly's Ave. You get off at Gilly's Ave, you'll come straight down Gilly's Ave and you'll hit that great, the, the Manukau Road. Right? Okay. The Manukau Road goes to the airport, right? Now, okay. it's, it's along, it's, it's, it's at the corner of Gilly's Road. You, you better, oh, you better to check the map to make sure you know exactly where it is. But yeah. that's where you get off Gillies Ave, and and okay, so, so it's best for us to leave. Uh, uh, no, you can. You got up till twelve o'clock to get there. You, you got plenty of time. But I'm I'm going to get there and prepare everything. Uh, yeah. Because uh, Dion Walker is going to be doing the camera um, and security, just in case any interjectors gets up. He he can handle them. He, yeah. he, he was the guy, the big guy with the camera up, up at um, up at the hub. Yeah, yeah. no, him. He's, he's my my right hand man. Uh, so he'll he'll um, he he can run us around um, and drop us off. Um, but the main thing is to get get get. That's why I've left the afternoon clear from from the court hearing itself is twelve o'clock uh, yeah. to twelve till two. But but if the sooner we get through the names and nobody turns up. Then, then after that, that's the end of it, and then we'll go down, uh, and Dion will just drop us into the police station first, yeah. to give the police the notice to stand aside, stand down, and then we go down to the, the, the Auckland District Court where the land things were done, where I got arrested and all that, and yeah. issue it to the registrar. We'll call out the registrar to come out and give it to him. And then uh, uh, we can go down to the High Court, not far away from there, and give give the copy to them. That's, that's from two o'clock. There's plenty of time for five. We can take our time. And then back to the lawyer's office. Okay. The lawyer's office on on Mount Albert, uh, Albert Road, Albert Street, and then Bowles in the office and and set it up with him because. <coughs> he's already got all those documents gone to Britain and he signed them all and stamped them uh, for that land. Once we get that land, that land, our bank will start working. Oh. Yeah, at the bank yeah, notes, okay. the bank notes will start working. I, I can call the, call the bank um, the next, uh, the next day or the, the following week. So okay. that's how it should run. So how's yeah. things up there? Oh, marvelous. All right, good. Okay. Okay. Uh, we never came up. Yep. Yeah, it was set up. They were, they were gunning for you. Yep. Yeah, and I just told them all. Because? Yeah, but that you have nothing, they have nothing to do with you. That's right. I said to them that you can do what you like if you are moving in the right direction to help the Tanaka Whenua or Te Aroa. Yeah. And I said, and I said that the Elwini and I and Mani have been supportive of you because of all the work you've done, and we can see that any person that does all this work it needs the opportunity to see the fruition of it. And I said, and in there, his heart is for all of you. So if anything happens, it'll come back to you. So. Yeah. We suggest to them to leave you alone, that's what I said to them. Yeah, that's, that's fine. And, and, and I spoke in the real, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. They, I tell you, Danny Watson, I got into him too. Yeah, no, I think he had this 21 gun salute thing hiding away to get the New Zealand wars in with that flag and, and, and the yeah. Waitangi Marae ready no, for the 28th. Yeah, well, that's that's not to, do, not to do with us up there for our wee wee. Yeah, no, you know, yeah. Then we, well, it didn't matter anyway, I said, because we 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 ended up writing a proclamation out of yeah, it. Yeah, I said I had a vision that night. Yeah. And then we wrote the, uh, the proclamation, and I said, and that was really we we needed to go. Yeah. No, you're on the right track. You're on the right yeah. track. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And they said, oh, we heard that we saw on the video, you know, people jumping up and down about the Malai and all this and that. And I said, well, really? I said, that's your responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're not worried whether we had the Malai or not. Yeah. I said, we had a place that was sovereign, which was the other 
colonial problem. understand that I only think business from from yeah. Auckland and that's quite different to what they think up there yeah. uh, and that's yeah. all it is it's banks and land and if they knew anything about land and, and all those things put the rubbish aside now we're talking yeah. business yeah. we're talking Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Yeah. That's that's right. That's right. That's why I'm saying I'm I'm supporting. Yeah. That that's why I signed that Maori government uh, with Georgie because I know they've got nothing else to go on. They've got nothing else to go on. Now, because we've got the lot of money and the proclamation, mm. you know, the 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 reality and the lot of money, huh? You know, guides the government. So we we able to set it up properly with those bodies that are in the government that they've known already. The only ones that understand all of that is the British. The, yeah. the ones in Australia and New Zealand doesn't. They don't want yeah. to know about British. Yeah. So all all they have to learn the lesson about. Who got them on the land in the first place? It's the British, not the Australia. So we, yeah, that's that's yeah. good, uh, Bundy. I'm I'm pleased yeah. with that. But I can. Yeah, so, uh, the other thing is, is that um, my uh, grandson's uh, court hearing was changed to the 14th of November. Oh, good. There's plenty of time for us to do something. Yeah, so I want you just change the dates on that. Oh, on on the documents. You want, yeah, you got the template, right? Yeah, I have. I I'm just reading it this yeah. morning. So I'll change yeah, that and email it back to you, to uh, yeah. Patricia. Yeah, and with, with, with the new date. Yeah, on it, with the know? new 14th of November, eh? Hang on, I'm just making that. 14th of November, okay. But I'll bring down the lid anyway. Yeah, now yeah. I'll, I'll get that set up. I'll, I'll get that set up. For yeah, because I think you can use that same letter too for anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's got a call hearing coming up for that airport. 
For the lift? Oh, oh for that one up there? Yeah. Kaitao one? Yeah. What happened to that one? Um, I don't know. I'll leave that one to me because I've got all the titles for there. I, I, I did that yeah. one back then. I, yeah. I've got another, okay. another one in yeah. the grass. And, and, and I did tell him that last night he came. I said, don't worry, I said, John's got it. Yeah, I've, I got, all the, I've got all the titles for that and, and I yeah. did it at that time. I've got all the, the grass runway and everything. It's a yeah. big, big one, a military one. Okay. Um, and um, I think I did it for him back then. Um, so yeah. that's what he said, Dave? What is his court, Dave? Yeah. What, what's, uh, what's, oh, how do we know? They haven't, they haven't, uh, oh, they haven't okay. made a decision on, because he's never turned up to any of the media. Oh, oh, okay, so, so we can sort that, we've got plenty of time to do it anyway. Yeah. I, I can time. spend a lot of time on that after the 29th of yeah. the Beautiful, well, we'll, we'll, we'll concentrate on this one. Yeah, 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 okay, so. so we'll, we'll just keep in touch over the yeah. week until we get there and see yeah. you on the Friday. Okay, so you, yeah. After the court hearing's finished, it's just one and after that. Yeah. All, all night and next day. Alright. Okay? Okay. Okay, thanks, Bundy. Alright, John. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Still coughing a little bit. Bundy's. So, Bundy's. Bundy's. Four. September, um, airport. I'll sort that airport out. I've got it already. Citing everything I say on the video as evidence in this court hearing in Auckland on 29th this Friday. I'm gearing up for it. I'm fit now. I'm well, after being sick after I've come back from North, anybody be sick after talking to you up there with misinformed people. <coughs> you can stay in your old way. That's what I'm saying to Bundy. <coughs> come to Auckland, it's business. Keep all your <coughs> crying and your wailing and and uh, crying and and um, um, moaning problems up there. I've had it over these years because you can stay Maori and go down as Maori. The Maori party, Ma Mana party, gone. You know why? Because it's bullshit. I'm telling you on this video, it's fucking bullshit. There's nothing in it. It was set up to fail, you people. It was set up by the Crown Corporation, News and Company, Australia, pirates, convicts that came here and still running rackets down in Wellington, in West, in, in the Beehive, Judith Collins. You know, I'll name you, I'll pull you out and put you right in front of me and these Paramount Chiefs and the British military for trial. That's the pirate, that's a pirate that's digging up that with the Chinese, with the, her husband, the Chinese man, you, you're up, I'm, I'm pointing to you, you're up with her as thugs for your own private investment banking interests and not the public of New Zealand or let alone the prior, prior uh, Paramount Chiefs and myself putting all this work together to nab all of you shithead lots. 
Now, all you people at Waitangi and up at Hokianga, I've never seen any of you fuckers at any of these Paramount meetings. <coughs> never. Never. You wouldn't know what to do about land titles and whakapapa. This intense. This intense. You wouldn't have a fucking clue how to put things together with the British. Because, as far as I'm concerned, marry us third parties to a two-party British contract in business. If you don't know business in a commercial sense, internationally, you can forget it. You can sit on the land and someone will run it. Because that's what's going to happen to you. You can't run it. They won't let you. Because you haven't even got a plan. You haven't got an economic plan or a business plan to cover the whole fucking country. Just yourselves. I know Sue, Sue Nakora has. And Georgie Jobs got that. They have. And they are Maori. <coughs> I don't call myself a Maori. Because I know the word is corrupted. I, I wouldn't want it on my document. There's only Maui, and Maui is memorial. You know what land titles are? Memorials. Those are certificates that say something's worth to live on and to look after, maintain, and administer its business to self-run it itself and make money or whatever to buy things with. <coughs> or barter. If you want to go back to bartering, then you go and do that without money. And see how many people will buy your kumaras with kumara for a taro or for kumara for a ship. And see how far that goes. That's, that's your mentality up there. I'm telling you straight in the face. You haven't learned a fucking thing I've been talking about in those bags I've got. It's got every fucking thing to run a Maori government, because it was given to me by older Paramount Chiefs. That's why I stick around Paramount Chiefs, not little monkeys, what Bundy's, what Hedewini says. Monkeys. They're a bunch of monkeys. That's what he says. He's right, because he's got the British in him. I've got the Irish in me, you see. The Irish makes me talk stupid like Swear. That's the Irish. But me, on the Moai side, that's a different story. That's for another day, when everything settles, the dust settles. Then Moai standing, staring at you, with his eyes wide open. <coughs> anyway, I put this book together with all the, all, all the headings for the hearing on Friday. I do this because I need to talk about something that they're going to learn from. You see, all, all, the, all the ideas in this scrapbook. You see? So I go prepared. I don't go to meetings like I see at up, up, up your lot. You go there with nothing. You just go there and sit around with no books, no, no pen and paper, no nothing. How the fuck are you supposed to learn? Kids don't go to learn like that in the school. They take their books and their pen, and they get it in here. You lot think you can hold that much information. No wonder you don't remember anything that was said when I'm talking, or anybody else that's got information that talks. You want to listen to yourself? Fine. You can stay there and listen, but we're not going to wait around. We're going to keep moving, because all the people that watch what we do, they're not too bothered about what you do up there. They're just going to carry on and everything will be fine. We're just heading the government off. The mischief sods in there that you fellows can't do anything about. You will never do anything about it because you haven't got the fucking brain to do it. <coughs> and Danny, <coughs> I like you fellows, but when it comes to dealing with legal documents, that's another story. Don't get in my road. When it comes to legal documents, none of you don't get in my road because it will get knocked around if you get on the wrong side it will go on YouTube 
you can do the same thing to me, but will you? If anybody gets in my road, it goes straight up on you. And too bad, because I get it off my chest. Everybody, you've got a problem. You've got a problem with me. I've moved on. I, I don't carry those things. I get it off my shoulder. I tell the people, well, this is what these fellas did. That's, what, that's why it's going nowhere. You see? That's why it goes nowhere, because I'm, I'm voicing my opinion of what you fellas do when I go and put some gas in my car to go up there, and it doesn't get hurt. Well, tell you what, I've got a big audience outside of here waiting, and we're not waiting for you. We're going to move, Bundy. We're going, had a wedding, Manahi. We're not waiting around. We leave them there, and we'll just carry on, because there's a bigger problem than them up there. They can just stay as they are, as little infants, because that's all you are. You're going to stay as infants because you're not ready to come out of your shell yet. You still need someone to look after you. That's right. You still need someone to look after you. You can't go down and manage anything without getting a policeman on your head. Yeah? Without getting caught. There's, there's only one law in this country at the moment, and that's the New Zealand law at the moment until this law steps in over the top of it. And dare I say the Maori government. So that's their business. My business is the British and the Paramount Chiefs. That's separate. <coughs> <coughs> I still gotta prove it works. That's a big load on my shoulder. I'm not mucking around. That's why I don't take things lightly. I'm putting all my effort in all of this and all the words that are down on legal documents on this book. Right? And on the, all the documents that are online. That, all that, that's over fucking 20 years, mate. 20 years stuck there. For you to see if you can understand it. Because I tell you what, it's ready to go. One flicker of a flame and it's gone. And too bad, I'm warning you, too bad you're going to get left behind because you'll be just one of the others at the end of the queue or at the end of the bus line waiting to board a train or a bus. Right? Because you fail to understand who the hell you are in the first place. You've got to marry, you follow the Mana Party. Follow the Maori Party. Keep following them. Right? To see where they end up. Keep following. Keep following yourself and leave us alone. That's why Bundy says, don't bother talking about them. That's what happens when Willie rings me. I'm, all my, my, my nerves start rattling because he's going to say something to my brain. Right? Anyone say something to my brain. Danny says, I'll come and pick you up and take you up. I'm not a fucking slave to go and go here, go there, I'm a little go for. I'm here, I don't have to go anywhere. I'm running a business from here for the whole fucking world, not just you. I'm running a bigger issue with this flag. You first got this flag, it's dead. It has no fucking jurisdiction, no power, no money, no nothing. No legal in it. I'm putting the legal in it. That's what I'm doing. I'm putting the legal in it. <coughs> anyway, our agenda today is that Dion, uh, he'll be working with me as a cameraman on the uh, marae. Uh, te unga waka marae. One more time. Te unga waka marae is the venue for our Auckland native magistrate court hearing. It is a court, it is a uh, marae that I've used over the years with Mohi Manukau and his ancestor on One Tree Hill. I'm taking the plaque of his ancestor Kafaru the Giant of Waikato. I'm 
I'm just going to get it. I'm just got the. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. I don't even push it for around. Put it, put it, put push it for around. This is the plaque of Kafaru the Giant on One Tree Hill. Or No Tree Hill. Right? Okay. I went through a lot of fucking trouble to put this all together in defiance of Tainui and Ngāpui and Ngāti Whātua or Auraki trying to stop me. They tried to stop me going up Wantri Hill with this. And Mohi Manukau says, don't worry, just go here. You see, he defied them. He defied them because it's his ancestors on top of one tree hill. Okay, I, I put, I made this, I made this, and we unveiled it on top of one tree hill. I'm taking it to the hui, to the hearing. I'm taking it to the hearing because that's the title, the Moriori title. That's the Moriori title, the white color title. Mangatotai, Mountain, Cambridge. Cambridge to Cambridge, England. Tira Waikato, Whare Here Here, Manukau went to Cambridge to learn English. Okay, 1820. With Bishop James Kendall. Bishop, <coughs> Bishop Kendall. Bishop Kendall. Um, so, with that, that's why I'm sticking straight to this plan because it's been over 20 years to put this together and to tell you people up there, you, you, you brain dead people, Maori, that this is the original Moriori to this country, not your Maori. It's been made up, it's been fabricated. I'm saying it's fraud. The whole lot, the whole deal of Maori is fraud. The Maori Treaty of Waitangi is fraud. It's got no end date. Everything about this government in New Zealand and Australia is piracy on the high seas against this flag. They made it dead so that they can play around with it. Now we've livened it up. It's legal now to go and arrest them. Arrest the whole bloody lot. And you Maoris, right? That have duped the people of New Zealand and the world. Peter Paroli, you, you, you are the bastard of this country. Peter Paroli, Brown, the white man, crooked crook, that's given the mana away from for this flag to the Navy, New Zealand Navy, while it's been shut down. You've had had been using it all these years as the chairman of the New Zealand of the Waitangi National Trust private company. Everything a private company because this flag, Magistrate Court, is a private company. Nobody's business. It started from Edinburgh, Magistrate Court, with Tira Waikato, Whareherehe, Manukau, from Waikato. None of your fucking business, you lot. None of yours. Have a say. You don't have a say in this. That's what I'm saying. So that title on One Tree Hill, that's what this hearing is about. To put that title back where it belongs and shove the whole lot of you off the land. That's how we're going to do it, to get this country back. Right? Now, the Maori government is going to fight like fucking hell to get the word Maori back from that Crown Corporation in Wellington. I'm expecting Georgie Job and Tsunakura or someone to make a miracle while they're still sleeping 
that Indian High Court judge and those Maori, United Maori US Federal Marshals prancing around to Timorai with this Naidu, native High Court judge from America, going through the Hawaiian King to seize this land while they're having a sleep. Let's see if they do it. See, see if they'll. I'm, I'm, I'm just quietly watching. I just want to tell you how intelligent those people are. Tainui and Hauraki, that lot that went up and had their meeting with NATO. I watched it. I watched it. I had a say. I said, I said to NATO, tell us something about East India Company. Well, he just didn't want to go and entertain that at all and talk about kings and queens because it's not his paddock to play in. It's not his jurisdiction to play in. He just stuck to his own jurisdiction of Hawaii, king, and his jurisdiction there, which is limited, and trying to apply it over the top of these paramount chiefs and me. How fucking dare a foreigner come here and these mounds pick him up, start using them to try and get the whole fucking country back. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. You can have as much hooey as you like right there, Hokianga. I don't care because I've had these plans set for me. I've had those plans done. I'm following the plan. And there's nothing you can fucking do about it. Because that's the way it's going. It's going to go right to the wire. Right to the end. And I'm not afraid of anybody standing in my road. Because the man up there is watching what I do. I'm talking about Mui Manukau and his ancestor Te Rawaikato for a head-headed Manukau and Maui and the creator of this earth planet. I got no problems. It's you that got problems because you're still under the government in Wellington and Bill English will run all over you forever and a day. He's going to have his way and steal off you and keep stealing until somebody does anything about you. You can't, I can tell you. You'll never be able to do anything legally with all your bits of paper. You can throw them in the bonfire. They won't work. Not about this lot. Not about this flag. If you know what to do with it, just take it off you. It's useless in your hands. Danny? That flag is useless in your hands. Poroho, that flag is useless in your hands. I've never seen you at any of these meetings I've been to all these years. I've never seen any of you there. I might have seen Danny, but I've never seen any of you long. You wouldn't have a fucking clue what I'm talking about. That's why you ignore. You're like your ancestors. Ignorance rules your brain. That's what I say. Ignorance, it, it rules the cells in your brain. You can't alter them. I've tried to alter your cells, but they're stuck there. They're going to stay like that. They're going to stay like that. I'm not going to go anymore. I've had my time with you. I'm off to England and around the world to go and fix their countries up. Right? I'm just preparing my way. I'm preparing my way to go. <coughs> so, <coughs> on Friday, <coughs> I'll be getting to that Marae at 9 o'clock. I'm just ringing up shortly. What's the time now? I'll ring up and find out if it's okay. I don't want any surprises at the last minute like Titi Marae. Oh, Marae's locked. Oh, it's overbooked. Someone booked it already and didn't turn up. Well, that's, that's no good. That's shoddy. I've never seen anything like that on that marae in my life. I've arranged that marae myself. 
I've with King here. I, I go straight in there. I don't now because he's not here. He's not there for me. He's not even ringing me up anymore. It's at the end of that. You see? Got a different agenda. We all have different agendas. And I'm afraid I just leave you fellows to follow your own agendas. And I'm buzzing off. Because I'm just going to set it up for business and gone. When you see big things going in the ocean, you won't stop them. They'll just run right over you. The same as now. You can protest all your life. Protest all your life. The world has moved on. People occupy the land now. They're going to occupy more space and more space till there's no more left. <coughs> and you'll have to go to work and learn how to make money to afford it. Because if you go back to Tikanga, well, you'll have to face all these other people on the land. Now, 100% of the people on the land, 70% are on this king side, and 30% is on this side. You're on this side. You're stuck with the 30%. You can stay there, because the other 70% of the world is going on this side with this flag. We're taking that flag, and we're going to run with it. We're going to make it legal and run with it. You can fly it all you like, but it won't mean anything. It, it's just a, it's just a flag. You, 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 you use it in the court, you, you'll get locked up. You try that. Don't start using it. When we start using it, don't you start using it, because you'll get a fucking power note on your head. I'm saying that because there's no fence to use that flag for the wrong reasons. Anyway, Friday. Um, when you come, I'll have a box in front of me with a slot in it. Please put some donation in it to help us with the expenses of the Marae. And <clears throat> for the food that we bring there for the next day. So that uh, on the Friday, we'll be having afternoon dinner early. Uh, because 12 o'clock the court hearing starts and finishes at 2, so we've got time. We have to go and deliver the notices, and we'll be away. And then when we get back, then it's all wānanga from there. That means learning experience. So if you sat around and wait for us to come back uh, from going to see the police and the courthouses and the lawyers, then we'll be back and start cooking. We start cooking for afternoon, dinner, and then we talk all night about what just happened and where to from here. So if you people come from up there, Danny, all you people come, hey, I've got no problem with that. But don't bring anything else into this court hearing because it's set. It's business, corporate, and nothing to do with anything else you're talking about. These are legal instruments that will affect everyone in the fucking world. You dead lot. It's going to affect everyone in the world because it's a crown land patent that affects everyone on their land stolen right through the world. If you can take that on your head and digest that and think you can do it, be my guest. Because that's where I am. I've gone with the rest of the world with this flag where it's supposed to have gone. I'm following where the Queen took it from these thugs up at Waitangi Marae that have given her the consent to use it when they've taken the legal out of it here in New Zealand over Maoris. They've used it as if they're the ones that own it. <coughs> so, um, if you come to the hui, bring some food to contribute for our lunch, uh, for our dinner, and for our breakfast and lunch the next day. We should be finished around three um, to um, go home. There's accommodation sleeping up the top 
for all the old people, 30 beds for the old people. If there's enough space, then we can let the others sleep up there. But those are mattresses. On the bottom, it's just the floor. If you're coming, you're better to bring your own mattress or something to sleep on the hard floor. Because that's, that's uh, there to rest after, after uh, the night. Okay, so you can um, fashion yourselves how you want to sleep on the floor. There's plenty of room there for a uh, hundred, I think, uh, people in the, where we're having the, the hui meeting. Uh, and we'll set out the tables. Uh, with this, while I'm thinking about it, uh, with a native grand jury uh, trial magistrate court, we have no bar like a normal court where you sit behind the bar and then you have the dock where you put the prisoner or the criminal into the box. We don't have that in this court because it's the ship on the dry land at Waitangi. That's our ship. We're claiming that ship and the land that it sits on. Nothing to do with Maori. It's nothing to do with Maori. This is just to do with two chiefs that signed a document to sell this country. They sold it, you idiots. They fucking sold it. Can't you get that in your fucking head? That Maori land was never ever sold because there was no Maori in that time. How can you fellas not know that? How the fuck in all this world's time couldn't you know that Maori land cannot be sold by Maori? How dumb. How fucking dumb. No wonder the Maori party lost and the Mana party is gone. Both gone. It's because it was a no-no in the first place. That's why the government laughed all the way through. Because they set it up. They set it up so that they can divert Maori into a black hole while they got on with fleecing the country and the people in it. They set their own people up. 30% of them who live comfortably in this country will get the bill from this side. That's, that's business. We're balancing the books here. We're balancing the books here. The Paramount Chiefs are not up to this sort of standard of business. One thug, you have to be a thug, mine, to think like a thug on this side. See? So I'm acting pirate against these pirates. I've got to be a better pirate than this pirate. You see? You have to have the mind and brain of a pirate to know what a pirate does with a pirate's flag. This is a pirate's flag, you dumb Maoris. It's a pirate thread for pirates who get in the road and tamper with a two-party contract between the British Crown, King, not Queen, King, and those two chiefs, Hongi Hika and Tera Waikato for the head of money. That's it. That's it. That's what I do. Commercial contracts. Commercial contracts. Private contracts with the flag. It belongs to us. It doesn't belong to John Key or Bill English or Sean Elias or Judas.